Trish. Now, there has been a lot of coverage recently about how young people are a bunch of weak, entitled snowflakes. <laughs> Millennials are entitled, they're lazy, they're weak, they're the me, me, me generation. <laughs> and of course, they spend all of their money on avocados, <laughs> which is a sort of savoury pear that costs the same amount as a house. <laughs> Now, many of the accusations of snowflakery centre upon people who find everything offensive. Non-Mexicans wearing sombreros, the sitcom friends, opinions about transgender issues. And of course, we shouldn't be shutting down free speech, even when it's deemed distasteful. Of all human rights, the right to offend people is one of my absolute favourites. <laughs> <laughs> The snowflake accusation is also being used to discredit anyone who worries about equality or looks to improve the lot of humans. Like uh, Lily Allen, she was branded Snowflake of the Year by The Telegraph for crying over unaccompanied children in Calais being abandoned by the British government. Crying in the presence of a small homeless child? How weak is she, the compassionate twat? <laughs> You see, there is a determined campaign to conflate people being a bit squeamish about offensive ideas and language with people legitimately demanding change. And the truth is, history is absolutely littered with dreadful snowflakes. Martin Luther King was a famous hand-wringing <laughs> liberal who got all hysterical about the persecution of black people in America. He had a dream about little kiddies playing together. <laughs> Stop dreaming and do some bloody work, you hipster! <laughs> And of course, then there was Mahatma Gandhi, a vegan, Kel surprise. <laughs> no. So Gandhi didn't like his people being oppressed, so he kept refusing his food. What an ungrateful hippie. <laughs> So, millennials and post-millennials, you are all apparently entitled narcissists, even as you will be the first generation to earn less than your parents and you will never be able to afford to buy a property. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is. Don't they like hearing mum and dad having sex as they lie in their childhood bedroom thinking, Christ, I'll be 40 soon? <laughs> Entitled. Well, millennials, you're entitled to sort out climate change too. <laughs> Good luck with that. And soz. <laughs>